In this lecture, I will discuss the different ways that you can edit your survey, like deleting questions, adding questions, changing the questions, or even changing the order of the questions. So I'm going to begin with editing questions. I'm here in the overview view for my end user feedback, and I want to go to my settings. So I'll head up to settings and survey settings. On the survey settings page right now, I'm just going to focus on the questions area. And if you want to edit a question to access it, it's just a matter of clicking on that question. Now, while you can always change the text of a question, you can't always change the answer type. So in some cases, it might even be easier, if not necessary, to delete an old question and create a new one. So if you need to edit any question, you can just give a click on it. That opens up the edit question window. Make your changes to the actual question itself. But you can just go through this window. I'll scroll down a bit, make whatever changes you need to make, and then click on OK. But for now, I'll go ahead and hit Cancel, because I want to show you next how to add a question. So in your Settings window, you just scroll down to the bottom of the screen. And at the bottom, there is the Add a Question link. Or if you're looking at the overview for the survey, you can go to Settings and then Add a Question. When I click on that, the new question window pops up, just like we've seen in the previous exercises. You would add in all of your different options, scroll down to the bottom, and click either Next Question to add another one or Finish. Just be aware that by default, any additional questions are added to the end of the survey and you'd have to rearrange your question if you need to. And I'm going to cover that next. So I'll go ahead and click on Cancel to get back to my settings. So again, if I need to rearrange a question and I have branching logic applied, I need to be really careful because like I mentioned in an earlier lecture, questions can only branch to other questions after them. So I don't want to accidentally remove the branching logic by changing the orders of questions. But if I do want to rearrange my questions, I just scroll down to the bottom and I've got the Change the Order of the Questions link. I'll click on that. And here I can use the Position from Top drop downs to tell my survey where or which question or which order I want those questions in. And notice that there are little arrows that point to any branching logic. So I can see that very satisfied will go to ease of use and not at all satisfied goes to how could your experience been better. And I also want you to notice that when you do change the order of a question and I'll change the last question to the first question, notice that SharePoint automatically changes the order of my first question to the second question. All right, I'll change that back to number seven. Now we're back in order but I'll actually go ahead and click on Cancel. So next, if I need to delete a question, I first have to go into that question. So I click on the link for the question, scroll down to the bottom, and then just choose Delete. Now deleting is another place where you should really be careful because if you've already received responses for the question and then you go to delete it, all the responses will be deleted along with the question. So just be careful with that. I'll go ahead and click on Cancel to get back to Settings. And maybe you notice that your questions are kind of all cluttered together or you have a lot of questions all on one page and you want to create a page break and you didn't do that in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a page break. I need to go down to the bottom and click on Add a Question. Because remember, page breaks are answer types. I'm going to switch my type of answer to a page separator and click on Finish. And because this is a question, your page separators again show up at the bottom. So I have to change the order and I'm going to make the page separator, let's say, the third question. So I have two questions and then a page separator and then my other questions. So I'll click on OK. And just to test that out, I'll head back to my overview and click on Respond. And yep, 
I have just my two questions now instead of the three that were there. I'll go ahead and click on cancel. And the last thing that I want to show you is how to change the survey name. I mentioned before that you could change the name of the survey. Remember when I named this survey in user feedback, I named it all one word. But to the end user, maybe I want them to see three words. So I'll head back to my settings and click on list name description and navigation and just make my changes there. End user feedback. Three words. I'll click on save. It looks good here in settings. It looks good in my quick launch and it looks good on the overview page. And if you're following along you'll notice that in your URL, it didn't change the URL, it's just changing how the title looks here to end users. So editing your survey. Again, we were done with our survey, but I showed you how to go back and edit your questions, change the order of your questions, add page breaks, delete questions, and even change your survey name. Next, I'll talk briefly about some key things to know when you're responding to a survey.